Hello, busy professionals. Come with me on this journey to Cape Town, South Africa, as I visit some of the top tourist attractions. Now, I want you to view the whole video because I want you to get give me your feedback on the attractions. Also, let me know if I may have missed some tourist attractions during my visit. I started my vacation leaving Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. Of course, um, I had to lay over in Johannesburg, but when I did land in Cape Town, South Africa, I was happy to see my driver there waiting on me for a brand new adventure. My first stop is the Bocat neighborhood, known for its colorful houses, its rich culture and history. I like the art there as well. If you see that beautiful elephant, it reminds me of the sisters of Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Uh, beautiful place. It brings so much knowledge to the history in the past of um, the apartheid in South Africa. Next, I headed to Table Mountain and it was a windy day there uh, during my visit, but we did take the cable cards up to the mountain and the views uh, were a little uh, limited because of the clouds, but it just shows you how high we were because we were above the clouds. We really didn't get to see all of Johannes, I mean, Cape Town from the, uh, from the mountain, but it still was a great view. So I'm on top of the world here, uh, Table Mountain, South Africa, Cape Town. Now we're heading to Boulder Beach to view African penguins. Now, I didn't know how famous this beach was because uh, talking to my tour guide, he told me this was some of the top priority or interest of some travelers heading to this beach to see penguins. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm actually gonna start off the information by saying, sadly, through the years of South African history, was a well misinformed today. If you know me, you know I like luxury hotels, and of course I love the history of, of a destination. When I took this visit to the Castle of Good Hope, which is the oldest colonial building in South Africa, it really taught me a lot about the beginnings of South Africa. So it was a great visit, uh, really learned a lot and interesting uh, how things are still the same today in some aspects. So what's a visit to South Africa without tasting some of their famous wines? Uh, I was able to go to the winery and it was just a beautiful estate. So I've only is seen the grapes in which the wine is, uh, is made out of, this but actually it. having a wine tasting, so many different varieties. If you are an art lover like myself, uh, you will love the Zietz Mocha Museum. It's a contemporary art museum that showcases some of the best from African artists. It was probably about five or six floors, all sorts of uh, exhibitions and paintings. Uh, definitely a must right in the waterfront district. Speaking of the waterfront district, here are a few glimpses of it. I mean, it includes everything from restaurants, shops, and more. Great place to walk around, great place to just see the sights.
Since I am a luxury travel advisor, I have to visit some of the top luxury hotels in Cape Town, South Africa. My first visit is the iconic Mount Nelson Belmont Hotel. It is a beautiful pink hotel that is known for its British charm. Next, we visit the luxury contemporary styles of the one and only hotel in Cape Town. It has everything you want with the spa and also a view of Cable Mountain. So that concludes my adventure in Cape Town, South Africa. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Also, tell me what I missed. What, what should I visit next time I go?